Hey guys, uh, something that I forgot to mention in this video uh, is that this is a tutorial for someone that already knows the basics of JWT. So uh, if you know the basics, uh, you you can go on and watch the video. If you don't know, you can go and watch the video too and hit the like button. Uh, but if you don't, I recommend you to watch a tutorial that explains what JSON Web Token really is. Uh, I'm sooner i will be doing some some project there and i'm gonna teach you uh the 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 basics to the the advanced stuff of json web token but this is not that that's not the tutorial this this one is not the tutorial that i'm gonna teach everything about json web token just building the authentication there so you can move on to the video thank you hey guys how are you doing uh today we're going to continue our nest authentication application so let's do a quick rewind of the the last episode <laughs> uh, so we managed to create our local off guard and our local strategy so today what we're going to do oh yeah sure i forgot to say uh i'm using the username field here as the email because usually we log in with the email and password so i prefer doing that because it's kind of easier and it's just a habit that we have in the 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 user experience right we we prefer to log in as email and not the username that you created so uh another thing you it, it's up it's optional uh you can use it uh, username you can use the name or whatever but it's something that i prefer some kind of a good practice that i prefer to do so today what we're going to do we're going to uh, build the JWT authentication. I'm installing the depths here. Uh, it will be in the description. Uh, the depth, the dependencies, in the the types of the de dependencies. So we're gonna be coming here in the auth service and import the JWT service that we just installed. It came. It comes from the NASJS JWT module and uh, we're gonna inject it and create a logging function in the elf service so uh, as you can see here we're gonna be building it the the logging and we're gonna receive user as any but for now uh, or sooner when we build the the database and everything we're gonna be typing the user there so it's gonna have the payload uh i'm going to explain a little better here uh the payload that we have is, is going to receive the sub the name and the email they are what there are some informations that we're going to sign in the jwt access token so jwt is json web token and we're going to sign this information the sub that is the user email the user id the email and the name in the JWT service. I forgot to inject it here and now it's injected. So we're gonna sign the payload to the JWT and it will create the JWT with this information, the, this payload information. So I'm gonna be doing the request here in the, the postman and it's gonna return for me. Oh, not yet. I'm gonna, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, we're gonna have to import the JWT module and register some things here. So what we're gonna register is kind of uh, a good practice for you to put in the .env file, but I'm not gonna be doing this now, okay? Sooner I will be doing. So the secret, uh, the JWT secret, that's something that used to to, to do the, this, the, the JSON web token and the expiration time. So I put there uh, two minutes and now we make sure to export the off service and now we're gonna uh, be bringing the 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 jwt the off service here in the app controller so first of all we have to inject it and we make sure that the off module had exported the 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 off service and that we are importing the off module in the app module so now what we're gonna do we're gonna return this dot off service dot logging passing the the request user there and now we're gonna test it in the postman so let's do the request first we have to start the server and we're gonna do the request that we did on the local strategy there 
and there you go, it returned the, the JSON web token. So we're going to test it in a website here called jwc.io. As you can see there, the informations of the user are there. The JWT encoded and the decoded JWT returned the sub, the, the name, the email, and the expiration date and everything else. So as you can see there, it looks just like the, the user. Uh, okay. Uh, so now what we are going to do next, we're going to have to protect this get hello, uh, route. So what we're going to do, we're going to create the JWT strategy. That's kind of like the, the local strategy there. So it's going to be called JWT strategy dot yes. It's a injectable class and we have to receive the passport strategy and make sure that the strategy that you import is from Passport JWT because you can make a mistake there and import the, JWT, the Passport local strategy that's wrong, you can do that and the secret or key has to be the same that you register there in the ELF module uh, now we're going to create the validate function that's going to receive the payload the payload is the same interface that we, we had later, later it's going to return the user like that uh, payload and everything ID name and email uh, and now we have to create the 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 JWT off guard it's just like the local off guard the only difference is that it's it's gonna receive uh, JWT and we have to register the this guard in the 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 alpha module there so that's what we're gonna be doing next uh, alpha module we provide the JWT strategy there and in the app controller we pass the guard here use guard same thing as we did in the local and uh, JWT off guard so now this route is protected and so let's make a request there so first I'm gonna copy the the access token and I'm gonna do the request uh, to the that route so I'm not going to be passing the authorization now. It's unauthorized, as you can see, because I didn't pass the token. Now in the Postman, we're going to add the bearer token, and there we go. We have access to this route. So you can see better. I'm going to receive the the request there, and I'm going to pass the username, and I say that it has that it has access to this route. So there you can see, kind of shady. Uh, I'm gonna build the uh, JSON that returns the, the informations in a cooler way. So, uh, there you can see we have the user information and everything else, the message that we created. Uh, so now I'm gonna create another user and log in with the, this new user's information. Uh, it's gonna be kind of like the same, just I'm gonna add the two and I change the password. I always want you three five. So uh, let's do the request and there we go. We have the the JWT and has the same stuff there. It's have the sub two and uh, it's the user that we just created. And now log it and we logged with the the other user there. So uh, now I'm gonna teach you guys some cool stuff that we can do in Postman. So we can have the the tests here in the, the logging request to build us a, a, a token, a, an access token that has, a, and it's going to put it in the environment. So there you can see we can have the response from the, the response.json from the, this, this, this call that we, we just did the, the post there it returned the access token and we're gonna set the collection variable of token as the of the access token that we received there in the the response body and uh, that's something that we have to do it's gonna be easier for you to call you don't have to be copying and pasting every time you just have to do the request and uh, add there in the, the request that you want to do. So in the protected route, we have the authorization. We can call this as auth token. So now if I send it, it has the, the user information. If I log in with another user, uh, it's going to change. 
there and uh, I'm gonna be doing the request with the other user uh, the password is different and now the for this access token is there in the the alf token uh, really cool so uh, thanks guys so much for for watching this video hope you enjoyed uh, hope the the audio quality is better and uh, that's it so in the next video i think i'm gonna be doing some database connections with prisma or rm uh, it's really awesome uh, and postures so that's what we're gonna be using uh, i hope you enjoyed and let's learn a lot together